Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. And you, you dope. Every time I talk to you, I learn something, too. You know, that's one thing I can say. I, I get I get some from I guess it's like the rap music. You know, you be like, man, I don't wanna hear it if it ain't talking about nothing. Yeah. When I when I interview you I always get something from it. And it, I and, and that's that's a good thing. It's, it's it's five white families that control all the cotton product in America. Wow. So what does that tell you? They probably once owned slaves. That's right. Uh China China buys up the world's trash, the plastic, all the recycle. They take stuff like this and make nylon and silk. We make cotton on this end of the world. So we keep the cold climates warm with what we grow here. Uh, President Trump shut down the Gildan headquarters in Mexico and moved it to Haiti. Uh, Haiti is a, uh, that's our brethren country who we should be importing and exporting from, whether it's sending them vegetables and fruits and they sending us t-shirts, socks, jackets, hats, or, or whatever. So when I got into the textile industry two years ago, that opened my mind up uh, into having different streams of income, right? So I sell t-shirts, I sell socks, I sell hats, panties, bras, face towels. Uh, so that's just fucking with the textile. Uh, when you came into the picture uh, with all this here, you and your wife making, uh, that's when it it hit me. Yeah. Oh uh, man, I need to be branding. Uh, oh man, you shit. you dope. It ain't no ain't no reason for you not to. Your impact yeah. is so powerful. Not only and when you say branding for me, I just know a lot of people get to be clothed. Yeah. In my mind, that's the way I look at it. Yeah. I don't look at it no other way. I don't look at it like, oh, this here. No, you providing a service to where you can help people to be clothed. If you yeah. really think about it and break it down, that's what it is. Yeah. Well. Uh, and the cotton picker thing, it hit home. Yeah. Well, if you think about. America is the youngest country in the world, mm -hmm. but it became a superpower. So China and, and Russia, all them other places, they have thousands of years of tradition. We come along with this new democracy, and, and, and the reason we was able to do that is because what grows here. Mm -hmm. So that's how America became this superpower continent is because of cotton and niggas picking cotton. Mm -hmm. And then came along the cotton gin. Once the cotton gin came, right, then America started industrializing. The factories up north, mm -hmm. the cotton down south. Yeah. Pick the cotton down here, send it up north, put the dye in it. You make jeans, T-shirts, all that. And that's what made America America. Okay, getting back to the shirts. Where can we where can we get these at? TheRealCharlestonWhite.com. Okay, TheRealCharlestonWhite.com. Y'all got to pick you some of these up. You'll see the prices on there, and the price is right. You so, know what I mean? So, so I can't get in my plug, right? So, but there's a guy by the name of Mister Sales. Okay, this man been doing this for ten ten years. Yeah, I remember you had told me about it. Man, this man got he's selling t-shirts all over the country. T-shirts, uh, high visibility vests. Uh, personal protective equipment gear. He got storage facilities in three different states. Man, that's the plug. The, okay. The, the sweatsuit. So you, all of our people making T-shirts. Uh, Harry Hines. Mm -hmm. uh, the 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 uh, the 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 Chinese district in Houston, where yeah. everybody going for wholesale prices. They all going to Tennessee. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.